try to see and notice something. Come, I saw, I don't know if that's fog or if that's smoke coming off the trailer. I can't tell. It's 4.30 in the morning. Well, it's 5 o'clock in the morning now. Finally got loaded in um, Arkansas. I'm on my way to Sioux City, Iowa. This is a, basically a repeat of about two weeks ago when the week was not going like I would have wanted. And it's like I said before, like, you know, where I had failed the test. I believe God has put me through another test. Well, I'm going to pass it this time. I want to I wanna be able to please Him. It ain't going. It ain't going the way out that I would want. But it says in the Bible that we are to we we are to deny ourselves and rely on Him. That's when you're in the middle. Of, <laughs> that's hard. That's hard to do. That's hard to do when I when you're doing this type of job. I'm, I'm used to being I'm used to having things go not necessarily I don't need things to go my way but I'm used to being more efficient you know load and go load and go load and go and keep, and keep moving and it just ain't it just ain't been happening this week it didn't happen it hadn't happened a, a lot over the last month I know I know God is the creator of heaven and earth. And he's in control. Just like the song says, he's got the whole world in his hands. Okay. So, I, even though I've been upset all day, and then I went to bed and I had a, a driver, you know, got me upset earlier when that woke me up, you know, and all that. I've, I've, been, I've been like, running this through my, my mind all this you know you know what have I done what you know it's all about me and it's not about me um, it was just like finally a light bulb went off ding 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 you know hey hello hello it was like the Lord finally I was finally pull the scales off my eyes and I can see that he's trying he's testing me again. Well I want to please him this time. I want to pass the test. I had a pretty good week last week. The week before that didn't go away. And I mean it ended up being a bit alright in the end when the, when the wheel seal went out and, and the load it I got the load got canceled and it ended up being a blessing. Well, I'm trying to, I'm, 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 I'm letting, I'm, I'm, I'm giving that, I'm gonna give that to, to him and let him. And um, been upset all day, but I thought I hadn't really made what I needed to make this week. And I've, I've, I've been, I've been upset all day. And it was just like I finally realized that this is, you know, the Lord's testing me. Well, I'm gonna pass the test. And I just I want to please Him. I spent I spent time with Him yesterday. I was reading my Bible. So um, I'm not a very patient person when it comes to this job. But anyway, we're on our way to Sioux City, Iowa. Still's closed. I had lost my glove. I had lost one of my gloves. I had lost um, my my um, cigarette lighter charger. I mean, I don't know how I broke the other one. I, was, I, was, I had it back there to sleep with me, and I pulled it apart somehow or another. I don't know. It broke. And I was like, you know, man, it's day, you know, I was all upset. Well, I got fuel, and I 
got me a brand new set of gloves. He got me a brand new cigarette charger. It didn't cost me a dime because I had all I had enough money to take care of all of it on my on my divorce car. So yeah. You just have to see the silver lining, you know? <laughs> so the fact that I can laugh and, 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 and actually have a smile about this is is far and away better than how I, how I normally react to it. Normally I react, you know, a lot different. So when I finally realized that, you know, this is this is the Lord testing me again. And that's the only way we're gonna that's the only way we're ever gonna grow closer is when he tests us, we rely on him and then he brings us through. This is like a little thing. When I've had had to deal with deaths in my family and uh, other things I've had to deal with, I, I had no problem relying on, relying on him then. <laughs> that was just second nature. No problem. You know, this, is, this is where I fall short. You know, and I finally realized that that's, that's, that's an improvement. So. Anyway, um, we'll get up to Sioux City, Iowa, and we'll go from there. We'll get up there, unload it. I got a load of fresh chicken on. And uh, we're going to get up here and unload this, and then we're going to see what happens. Hope y'all have a good day. And, um, we'll talk to y'all later. morning from Sioux City, Iowa. I started to, uh, I sat, I sat there all day yesterday getting, waiting to get loaded. And I started to, um, just wait to, wait till this morning to head up here. Um, I decided against that. Last night, actually this morning. Now I've been sitting. I got there around lunchtime or so yesterday. I I went in there and checked in, and they then they go and get one of their spotter trucks and move. They go get a trailer. We have dropped trailers at this particular place. And they bring away bring one around them because I went ahead and checked in. They're telling me it's probably gonna be, you know, midnight or better before they get loaded. Like alright. So uh anyway, so I had sat there all this time, right? I went and got something to eat like that eat last night. Um Came back and I and I went ahead and hooked up to the truck and I was there and I went to sleep. 
Now, I had been there for hours, for a long time. Okay. They come around, when they got done loading it, they came around and knocked on my door. Pulled me up, and they are like, hey, you can go ahead and pull forward, you know, and come inside and get your paperwork. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you know, you gotta pull up, you gotta, you know, close your doors and, and all that stuff. All right, so when I pull, when I pull up, there's a, a day cab truck right there. Like, right there. And you can, all right, so when I pull forward, I close my doors, and I go to walk inside, this trucker starts blowing his horn, screaming and yelling and everything else. And he's telling me I need to move. Now I've been sitting there for like 13 hours. Now they, now this guy needs me to he needs me to move like right then to make room for him right then. I told him, I said, I've been sitting here for I've been sitting here all day. Give me five minutes. That's all I said to him. He tells me, I don't care how long you've been sitting here. It's not my problem. Okay. I said, really now? I said, well, then me moving for you and you need to get into this, into this uh, dock ain't my problem. <laughs> so I, I walked inside. Apparently, ain't nobody done that to him before. Hell, he, 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 he really went off then. Oh. Uh, so I go inside and I'm saying, you know, and I, and I tell the guy inside, you know, because the guy, the guy that came out knocking on the door, he was cool. All right. So I, I go in, I go in there and I, I tell him, hey man, your driver right there, I said, uh, he needs to realize I'm not, I'm not two years old like that. He didn't really say anything. And I'm sitting here signing my paperwork and all of a sudden I hear the, I hear, hear that guy set his brakes. Here he comes. Barging in there, busting the door open and everything else. And the guy in the office, now they work together. He's telling him, you know, hey, 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 hey. Like, and I had my back turned to him. I was signing paperwork. He comes in there screaming, yelling, you know, and talking about how I'm whining. And it's like, yeah, now he's the one screaming at me, <laughs> but I'm the one that's whining. And uh, I just told him, I said, dude, just like you told me, it ain't my problem, man. You know? If you had asked me, if you had asked me like a like a, a reasonable person, you know, like a sensible adult, you know, hey, I know, I know, I know you've been sitting here all day. Hey, I, you know, I, I really, I really didn't kind of hurry. I'd like, I'd like to go ahead and pull this trailer here, man. If you could just pull off the side, man, I'd show appreciate it. You know, no problem. I get it. You know, because I, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to get nobody's way. But when you tell. <laughs> You tell somebody, I don't care how long you've been sitting here. I know you've been sitting here all day long. That ain't my problem. Well, guess what? You need to get in here. Ain't my problem. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, you know, anyway, he came in there and he he just mouthing off, mouthing, just yelling at him, screaming, just yelling at him. The guy that was in the office, he was laughing because I was just looking at him and he kept, every time he'd say something, I said, man, you just need to stop whining, man. <laughs> like that. You know, hey, hey, well, I need to get, I need to move truck. I like, hey, man, it, you told me, just like, just like you told me, it's not my problem. And that's how I was dealing with him. And every time I said something, <laughs> the matter, <laughs> the matter he got, I really thought he was going to take a swing at me, which that would have been a big mistake in his point. Anyway, I just thought I thought I thought I'd share that with you. I made it to Sioux City. I drove. I left out there about it was about two o'clock or so. And I left, and uh, I just got here. They got me reloading uh, about four miles from here. I don't know how long. It's going to, it usually don't take too terribly long to get unloaded here, but I got to go get the trailer washed out because it's fresh, freshly killed chicken. So I got to. There's a truck wash just about two miles from here. It's not that far. I, I'm gonna go get I'll go get it washed out, and, uh, and then I'll go get reloaded, and then head back south. So uh, it's going to it's going back down to Fayetteville, Arkansas, and uh, I'll be back down there tonight. Uh, or I'll, I'll be back down there 
tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever, whatever, whatever time, or, you know, whenever I get loaded. So anyway, uh, hope y'all doing good. Y'all be safe where you at. We'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Waiting on my trailer. I had to um, drop my trailer at this uh, shipper. They had their own trailer wash out there. I wish I'd known that ahead of time. Um, I run something every day, but I had already wa got the trailer washed out, and um, I called ahead of time at this place. The place I normally go to they they had about a, it was gonna be at least an hour there were two other places and one right around the corner which i didn't realize they were around the corner but there was another the one i called was about 10 minutes away i actually had to cross it to nebraska uh they wash out like hopper bottoms and bull wagon and stuff like that it's just a straight trailer wash out they use fire hoses and stuff I called ahead of time, and you know they're like, "Oh yeah, come on, you know." So I came on over there. I pull in, and then clearly you can see they got two bays. You can clearly see a truck in each bay. And I'm, you know, I'm sitting out there waiting. The guy comes out there. I didn't, I didn't been sitting there for a little while. I, I wasn't that big of a hurry comes out there and he's like man you know we're like really busy and this and that and the other he kept going back and forth and i finally just told him i said dude i said do you want do you want to do do you want to wash trailer out or not well yeah i'll wash trailer out okay well you know i'm clearly here and i'm i can clearly see there's two trucks in, in the bay i mean I, I i'm not stupid okay finally I don't understand why it came out there. I mean, I, I it, it, it makes a whole lot of sense to me. But uh, I went around there, and I, if I, I wished I had known ahead of time, because the place I would go to load at, they, you got to open your doors up, slide your tans all the way back at the gate. Then you got to take it all the way to the back, and they've got a, you, they got like five bays, and you back into this. Uh, they got these doors you back up to, and they got these hot water. I mean, they, they wash the trailer out right there. I wish I had known that. That'd been a whole lot simpler to do. Wouldn't have cost me nothing either. But then you got to take your trailer and drop it, and then they call you when the, you got to you got to bobtail off site. They won't let you stay on site, which I don't. I've never I've never been to a place like that before. But they give you this little website. You can check your status on your load. You put you put in your check your load number and all that. So I'll finish the check on that here in a minute. And uh, come up here in Sioux City, take this load down to Fayetteville. Uh, whenever it gets loaded. Um, I went ahead and came over here, filled the truck up. You know, the only thing I gotta do when I get loaded is come over here and weigh it. That's all I gotta do. Um, I may go across the street over here to the pilot. This place here is a madhouse. I mean, they, this place is crazy. The pilot ain't nowhere near this, near this, near like this. So, um, anyway, I'll probably close this one out here, uh, start over. On, on the next one. Um, I saw a bunch of 
wrecked trucks and cars on the way up here. They were sitting in the median. One one was flipped over. I didn't I didn't catch it. Uh, I'm not one of these people who are going to videotape a lot of wrecks and put it on there. I, I'm just not going to do that. I mean, these are just people slid off in the, in the, in the median. Um, I'm not going to be one of these people either that, that, that videotapes other truck other trucks and put their truck numbers and you know portray myself as holier than thou or the go-to for the trucking industry. I'm not, I'm, I'm not supposed to do that. Um, I see other channels do stuff like that. And they they get butt hurt when people call them out, but then they, they don't mind, you know, posting whether it's a truck stop or there's other drivers that they, they think are doing wrong. They'll videotape them and put their, and they put all that on. And I, I just, I don't like that. I'm not going to do that. Um, probably going to stop down there at the pet road and jump on the way back down and get those spikes. Um, I've calmed down a little bit from where I was at last night. So. Um, I don't know where I'm going once I get down there. So. But that's going to be it for this video, I guess. Um, I'm just going to get loaded loaded sometime later on and head on back down there. And then I'll, uh, we'll go from there. It was nine degrees. It was like around eight or nine degrees on the way up here, and I get up here north, and it's like in the twenties, and it started. I guess the sun had come up, but um, it was pretty cold. But try to be careful, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to y'all later. I'll take care. We'll see. You.